Welcome back to our blind hardcore Cormon Nuzlocke. Uh, let's finish up this town and head back to the mountain. I'm doing good. We've got, uh, we picked up another starter mon here, this bear. So we're going to try him out when he gets evolved. What do you got to say to me? Gunner Gunnarsson, what a, what a clever name. It's very, very uh, Scandinavian. Gunner Gunnarsson son, yes, of course, yes. Of course, of course, why would it not be that? Right. Um, fruits, I guess we'll just toss down a set of champ fruit in here or something, I don't know, man. We have so many berry pots now, it doesn't really matter. Anything else hiding in here? Don't look like it. All right. Goodbye, you stubborn old man. Any items? Yes, on the axe. 63 skill flash. Which is... Berserk. Yeah, Berserk's the trap move. You get locked into that crap. So we don't give two shits about Berserk. It also doesn't seem that good. I'm very surprised it's buried this late in the game. Unless we already had it and this was just a second place to get it from. Mushrooms. Sweat shroom. Hopefully I have those and I don't have to deal with this crap. No. Uh, are we like close? Uh, I don't even remember where the mushrooms live in the inventory. Oh, we have one. Hmm. I guess we're going to go back to the swamp and farm those up at some point. Okay, wait, where am I supposed to get a carrot? Three people that need assistance. Here we go. Okay, find a carrot in Hayville. Sure, that tracks. Go to the only farming town, the breadbasket of the region, I guess. That somehow supplies an entire continent's worth of food. Got it. So we need one more person with a quest somewhere for us here. This appears to be impassable from that direction. Hmm. Have you guys ever considered putting salt down in your town, maybe? This also doesn't seem like we can go anywhere else. This is just one straight slide like that. Snow's great. Mostly because if there's snow, it means it's not too damn hot outside, which is nice. I am a creature of the winter myself. How in the world? Oh, there's this section, okay. Really surprised that's not anything. How is that not anything? My condolences. <laughs> it sounds very warm, and I don't like the idea of that much warmth. Summer's just kicking in where I live, and I'm already, like, over it. We had, like, three days of hot temperatures, and I'm ready for snow again. Uh, we got a cave. Great. Not 
stuff in here. You just want me to not be here, fine. So I guess the third person has to be the guy that's in the building. You must mean Celsius, you were talking hot temperatures there. 39 Fahrenheit's only marginally above freezing. Hmm. Yeah, I forget my exact conversion to Celsius, but like 30 Celsius sounds bad. <laughs> So this guy's got to be the third quest. Maybe we have to complete the other two first. Let's head to Hayville, pick up the carrot, and go find those mushrooms and then come back. One carrot for a snowman. We also check fruits here, I guess. But if the ones outside aren't ready, I'm not gonna assume anything's ready. Yeah, these are still going. Carrots. One carrot. Oh, I could just take all of the carrots. Is there any reason to do that, I wonder? There doesn't seem to be anything like hidden behind these. And then which mushroom was sweat shroom here? The red one we're looking for. Uh, if we're going to go to the swamp, we can put a baby in the lead. We can give this bear a little bit of XP. Yeah, it's better to go from this direction. It's really too bad we didn't already have these uh, mushrooms. Uh, there's a few ways you could farm money. There's like uh, gems you can dig up and sell. That's probably the easiest way. I don't know if they keep coming back, but there seems to be a lot of them anyway, even if they don't. I haven't bothered with that too much. I've been doing pretty okay on money. So I haven't felt any particular need to farm it so far. Um... You get like uh, a held item that increases the amount of money you gain. You can use that too. Gold lump. But I also haven't focused on using that much either. Well, that mushroom decayed. There's really not that much to buy if you're playing hardcore. Because you can't heal in battle anyway. So you don't burn through as many healing items. And the, the skill flashes, the TM equivalent, are actually really cheap for some reason. So you actually don't have to spend that much money to get all the moves unlocked either. I like that that just rolls off screen and around the entire world or something and just comes back on the other side. It's funny. Makes no sense, but it's funny. We're looking for red mushrooms. I guess, well, this one over here is growing, but it's a mint shroom and I don't care. Purple one to the north. Oh man, maybe I'll cut this out of the video. Like these levels are pretty safe, even for tomorrow here. And it's probably gonna take a fair bit of time to actually find these five mushrooms. So yeah, well, let's cut this. All right, we should have everything we need for those first two side quests. I stole extra carrots for no real discernible reason, but we have them. I'm actually mildly curious now where this show up in the inventory. Key items care four. Sure, why not? Alright, you little shit. Here's your carrot. Oh, he took all my carrots. 
Now he's got four noses. There's the mushrooms. I don't appreciate the game and send you away that I can't take some spice, damn it. I still think it smells gross, apparently. There's still just a, a bear that's hanging out there. Fine. Will this guy let me help him now? No. Hmm. Did we do one already and I didn't realize it? Maybe all of them are done? I feel like we're supposed to find his kid or some shit. Nope. Okay. Well, where's... Where's this other person? Hmm. This is the exit. Nobody's over here. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if that counted. We can go. I don't think there was anybody in this building, right? Oh, there's this person. Sorry, is this done? Wait, how are these almost done? Hmm. I'm not gonna remember how to get out of here. I guess we just do that. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll go grab a winter coat and then see if we're done with this weird side quest to help out villagers. So that we can get back to uh, dog fighting. Like whatever your little boy wants to do. Is this a ruse? No? Yeah, I'm gonna trade a whole ass mon for a coat. Right. I mean, I do think I have a blobby sitting around that I'm not using. We could do it. Come on, what do you want me to do? Do I have to do this? That's stupid, if so. Because if we didn't have one of those blobbies, we'd have to pay the 50K and that's ridiculous. One person left that needs assistance. I don't understand. Maybe somebody in the center here? Oh, there was the path. There was the guy on the path down south. But I think we talked to him after we talked to this person. Let's check the north exit. I guess. We'll see if anybody over here needs something from us. Pause the recording while I run down south.
Well, I can't figure out what else to do, so we're going to do the trade for the coat, I guess. I'm just going to trade away Don Snots from the back. We're not, we never used him. Uh, here you go. Have a blobby, asshole. Is this not a blobby? Wait, I thought that was a blobby. Wait, what are you? You're a Drupal. Wait, what's a blobby? <laughs> Wait, how many blob mons are there? Wait, what's the blobby? Is he evolved or something? Oh, it's this little shit. It's this little fire boy. Okay, but we also have that in the back unused. Whoops. I can't keep track of all the blob-like mons. There's a bunch of blobs and a bunch of squids. And a bunch of dinosaurs. Let's grab the right dude. I'm a little more disappointed that he wants my fire type, but we've got three unused fire types here, so. Chunk. All right, Chunk. I guess we'll trade you for a coat. This seems like bullshit. It might be one of those things where like, he actually doesn't take it or something. Because, like, the first quest in the game is that kind of thing where you give the dude a mon. Nope, he took my chunk. It gives me a coat. That actually is mandatory. So, in theory, if you spent all your money before getting to that point, you could actually, like, lock yourself behind having to go out and do, like, gem farming with a shovel. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, not a big fan of that side quest. All right, let's get you back. You get a Energizer Gem. And let's move on. Some sort of winter celebration. I look like a complete shit in that coat. The ice show. Wow. I really don't care. Let me get back to killing monsters. Okay. Really? Nobody else brought their Koromon? Oh, we don't even get to like rearrange the team. Do I want to keep Blacksmith in here? He's actually not bad right now. 57. Triple Arctas though. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we got a real fight on our hands. Cthulhu, do you have multi-hit moves? I don't think you do. Detonate is the... Yeah, that's the one and done. Yeah. Swapping's not really going to be that useful. They'll probably pin us, too. I mean, we have 12 levels on it, but the triple fight is a little concerning. Actually, Blacksmith might even be better as a tank than uh, Cthulhu. 134, 153. Yeah. Okay, Blacksmith actually stands a better chance of surviving here, too. We could set up an inner peace to start with. But I think I'd rather go for picking off one of the Arctas on the side. Let's kill this one with slight less HP if we can. Okay, we'll kill that next turn because it's glass cannoning. Oh, 
Well, this one hopefully dies, unless that's got some sort of can't be killed bullshit. So let's go in slower here actually was really good. They all glass cannon. That's terrifying. That's really spooky that they're all boosting. Although maybe they're boosting because they just can't hurt us for shit because we're fire type. Hopefully that's the case. Okay, that's great that we kill that. I'm going to go for the kill on the one in the middle. Firestorm him. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Not affected makes me a little concerned too. Okay. Well, whatever the secondary effect was, it seems like we missed it. Or dodged it. So that's great. That does not kill. Shit. I think... We go for the kill here. If we're not locked in next turn, we swap out. We get this guy off the board at least. Because otherwise we're swapping into too much damage. These guys are both special attack boosted. Okay, we resist this so we're fine. Might have been dead to a double crit there. But I think swapping was just as risky. Because we'd have to take probably four hits before we got another attack off. Uh, no, we're just stockpiling stats until we evolve. Uh, let's go into Cthulhu here. Nice having the double fire types for this fight. Although I think that the crab would have been fine here too. He's such a wall that it wouldn't really matter that he doesn't resist. We can just go detonate. Just try for the giant nuke. I think the other move probably also would kill in one shot. It doesn't even kill. Never mind. I'm full of shit. This thing's minus special defense and it still took that. That's crazy. I mean, these are boss mons. So I suppose that's why. Alright. I'm happy with that. Much better than the last time we fought one of those special boss mons. Right. To the mountain. I will talk to these these dudes and see if they have anything to say. Just in case we get any like rewards post battle. Uh, Gunner Gunnarsson, what a card! Doesn't seem like there's gonna be anything here. We'll talk to this person over here. I'm just going to assume there's no, like, new items or anything. And I don't think we need to swap anybody out of the team. I think this is still good. I guess we'll keep this winter coat on. It's thematic, at least. So I'm, I, I assume they said to the north, right? Okay. Frost Peak. Yep, okay. That's our new progression point. Another coupon seems entirely unnecessary. Uh, 
there's something somewhere. I didn't see it. Oh, it's up top. It's on that rock at the very top of the screen. I'll be glad when we're out of this stupid ass blizzard. Nice kill. Hey. Okay, it's not 36. That's 34. What we can do is stat distro now. Winnie the fucking poo. So, Winnie the Pooh here. 66, 67. Physical attack is actually 11 points higher, which is solid. Moveset's still a little questionable, but it's not the worst. Um, yep, yeah, so we'll just... Uh, oh, uh, did he have a setup move? Yeah, he has Epiphany. Okay. Skew special defense higher then. We'll do that. Oh right, this route. I remember. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff there. Let's see what's over here across this bridge. That looks like it might be a dead end. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me. Um, if I swap, I probably get rooted. Let's just run straight. Nice. Those guys actually suck. They're not even good. It's just that they have that stupid rooting move that gets us fucked over if the weather turns against us, too. Some bird. Hey, that's the first time we've seen EMP ever. Revert their stat changes to put their SP by 15%. That feels... Hmm. That's an interesting thing there. Well, when we need it, we'd be glad to have it. But... What do we do? Replace Toxic Cloud in this set? Seven SP cost is kind of steep too. It's not really good for actually like stalling out SP so much. It might be good for a Titan fight because if Titans, if we ever fight a Titan that actually starts increasing its stats, that's really scary. Maybe I should have it in the team in the, in the move set here just to have access to it. Oh, but you know what? Tibby Alt dying. That's our main poison setter who ate shit there. So having a guaranteed poison setter like this is actually kind of important. We gotta keep the priority move, we gotta keep the setup move, we gotta keep the nuke. It's basically between the nuke and the EMP. I probably get rid of the nuke and take the EMP if we bring this guy to the Titan fight. But I think for these wild battles, we don't use EMP. Did we item search on this plateau? Okay, nothing. Uh, was that here? No. I don't see it. Oh, it's on the log. Garbage. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's go up first. 
that's more likely to be the dead end then? Nope. That's absolutely not. Was this the guy that got abducted like a thousand hours ago in our playthrough? So far in the past that we don't remember him? Yes, okay. Oh, we just go right into this. Five mons. Mm hmm. And he's got a whole team of dudes, and we've got the fucking blizzard. Oh, but he overwrites it with wind. Okay, 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 okay. Accuracy crit chance. I don't really care that much about his accuracy or crit chance going up. What's the play then? We don't. We didn't bring a water tonight because we were fighting all these these guys. Hmm. Yeah, and he's the weird typing. If we can get Nyar set up, Nyar can sweep fucking anything, man. Oh, Nyar's a, a toxic setter too, actually. I think I want to bring in Nyar and set Nyar up on this and try to go for a sweep. So how do we get the setup on this to like maximum? That's just flinch chance. That's a freeze chance. He can't, he can't survive in here. We can't even think about him. Wait, Toxic Cloud. Toxic Cloud, okay, they're both Toxic Cloud. We could go to like Ampere, set up Toxic Cloud and swap out. Gets its SP draining quicker, gives us more setup time. But then we're on a clock for setup and we can't actually just fully set up either. I could try for a disable. I don't wanna burn this, that's bad. Fuck, what do we do? I guess we just go right to the ghost. We don't have anybody who can help him set up, really. Disable maybe, but we don't know what moves we want to disable. So, I'll just get the Intimidate up. Oh fuck, it's got Super Drain. That sucks ass. Uh, actually, that does nothing. It's got really bad special attack, huh? We're actually okay. Kind of. I guess it depends how effective Super Drain is against it. Inner piece here. Goes for quicksand. That's stab, but still special. Drops speed, but I don't care. Let's get a recovery in here. Let's not risk it having some other nuclear missile in the bat in, in its moveset. We're not playing around. Oh, okay, that's a lot. That's a resisted move, too. That's a one hit. That's a little scary. We still outsped it there. We go inner piece again. That's fine. That'll do like nothing unless it crits. Of course. Of course it crits. I might need to drain here. I'm a little worried about that physical movie did that hit us once. If that hit us three times and crit, that could result in a kill here. It's rather unlikely. The other option I guess is if he quicksands and drops our speed again. 
then maybe he kills us. Let's kill him. Let's kill him here and get our HP back. We can set up on the next mon some more if we need to. Oh shit, he's re he's resting. Ah, oh, I should have looked at his SP total. Actually, I think he was at like 10. We couldn't guarantee that that was a rest, I don't think. We probably could have guaranteed that it was safe to Epiphany, though. Whatever. We're fine. Sandstorm drops. No weather active now at all. Brings in... Oh, now he brings in a bigger one. Hmm. Another one? Still at speed? Good. Now we're plus three. I think we go for sweep here. Defense drops a little spooky. Probably a two shot still. Yeah. Okay. Kill and recover. I think we're going to try and go all the way with Nyar. Realistically speaking, the ghosts are not important to the team comp anymore. Because we're fighting... Water and Ice Titans are the only ones left in the game. And we've got plenty of good fallback ghosts. This is what Nyar is here for. Nyar exists specifically for this situation of setting up and sweeping with Super Drain. So if Nyar can't do it when he's when it's his, like, his thing he's supposed to do, then that's just unfortunate. He's still also got two other guys after this. So let's just go for the drain here. This should get us really good recovery. It actually might kill this guy because he's physically defensive. Almost. That's actually kind of unfortunate because we don't get any HP back when he hits us here. Or he'll just set up for an epiphany. That's perfect. So there's a problem. 7 SP. Ball of Darkness can get us a special attack increase, so it's the better thing to do here when we don't need to recover. We still we might swap now that we're at SP, though. I don't know if we can afford to recover. We'll see what the next mod is. If it seems like a special attacker, we're fine. But if it seems like something physical like this crab, we can't stay in at minus one defense, I don't think. Unless we're confident we outspeed, maybe, and we think it doesn't have coverage for us. I don't know, man. Mm, well, there's that. I'm not sure if a level up actually makes a difference, but it's interesting. Okay, okay, Aluma Sect. Okay, we can actually rest on this, I think. This is basically just lightning coverage and special attacker, unless it's set changes for being the special alien typing or whatever. We'll go for the rest. We probably don't outspeed it, though. Okay, that kind of sucks. Let's go for the recovery. Yeah, okay. So it's got its normal, a normal learn set here, then, for sure. Okay, we'll go for a drain again. Get the fuck out of my house. One bond left in the back. Can we get a clean sweep with Nyar? The OP got himself. Arcturo. Sets up fucking Blizzard. I'm expecting... So we've seen... The ice types don't have good physical attacks from what we've really seen. It is certainly possible it does kill us, though. Maybe. I think we go for it. 
Yeah, we've only got one good shot at hitting it here, too, before we need to rest. Nice miss, but we got shocked anyway. Mulligan round doesn't mean anything. Oh, kill, hit, hit him and kill him, hit him and kill him, hit him and kill him. Special defense drop. Shit, wow. Bad luck. We could get super fucking hosed here. We got the special defense increases for this. We're fine. I'll be really surprised if this doesn't kill. It might not because these guys are tough. Okay. Good job, Narlath. Hell yeah. Squid Skull does it again. 62. Ooh, Glacier, what are you? Special 75 power. Opposing team, 50% chance to freeze. Um, Doesn't fit with the moveset here because he's got a physical moveset, but I think it's better than take a frost chop at least because we still get a guaranteed stab move that can connect. And it's a team hit move, which is nice. Not exactly the move I'm looking for on that guy though. 11,000 bucks for beating this dude too. Oh, we also don't have any potent sense anymore. Let's take a quick peek inside the cave. Is that greedy? It's probably fine. We're not going to go in here yet. Okay, frozen cavern. We do have the counter. Um, if we go back out and we check our map. No, our map is not in the logbook. It's its own item. Okay, we've got one encounter, two encounter. We got the electric muck guy, I think. We don't have that. Uh, three encounter, this turtle, four encounter, the moth. We have four encounters in this mountain, potentially. Let's finish this route up. See what we're dealing with over on this branch. Um, and then we'll head back to town. We'll swap out the ghost because he's a bit over level now. If I'm feeling frisky, I could put the other ice type back in the party for leveling, but that seems a little sketch. Uh, where was that? To the south. Skill flash 18. Whoosh. Oh, we already had this one. This was a repeat. That sucks. Nothing up here. Yeah, so there are repeat skill flashes. I suppose in case you miss them or whatever. Oh, this is probably where we came from. This is, yeah, I think this is where the hole in the ground was that we, uh, we fell through. Okay, so we're done there. So the cave is the next area to go to. Let's make sure we get back to town then and, and uh, swap the ghosts around and then see. Yeah, I guess we'll just swap the ghosts around. We can grab a... Uh... Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get our encounter on this first floor because we don't have a potent sun anyway. So we might as well just grab it right away. Um... You have taser, right? No, you don't have taser? Shit. Just kidding. All right, well, let's just, let's just whistle. Screw it. We can always master ball it if it's an issue. Okay, we know this thing is good. 
I'm not gonna lie, getting the moth back actually... Also, it's 54. This goes in the team. I think... Okay, so do we assume that the starter is gonna be better than the bird? Probably. So probably this this replaces the bird. Glamoth was pretty good before it got murdered in the past. I might master ball this. Let's do a let's do a trick spinner first and see if we get lucky. It, this is fully evolved, so this probably is gonna be a bastard to catch, I would guess. We can hit it, too, if we want to. It resists water, right? We could try to chip this with water. Let's see what we do here. Oh, shit, it's got wind. Yeah, so I'm just going to burn another Master Ball. This seems like a really good encounter to get. Uh, I don't want it to kill Blacksmith. We don't have a good status move to catch it with the current team. Flicks the status from or stat change. Damage targets SP by 10% of their max. So typically it drains about three SP per status from you apply. Um, I don't remember what ability we had on this before, but it was pretty good. This thing is a special attacker, right? Yeah, a massive special attacker. Oh yeah, this thing came with Drain. Did this thing learn Super Drain? Okay, let's not worry about this moveset. Let's get back to the Pokemon Center and check this dude out. Um, Frost Moth thingy number two. What do we call this? Moths. It's an ice moth. It's a, it's, a, it's a bug from the Arctic. Hmm. I don't know. Let's check a quick reference. We can just do more Lovecraft references because I really can't think of anything else for all these ice types. All right, you could be Danforth. Let's go to the Mountains of Madness, Danforth. Um... We could just do this. We could, don't have to go back for the ghost, necessarily. We could... Ooh, okay. I'm not sure I bother with Detonate. I think I'd rather have 100 100 guaranteed hit with upside versus 130 95 with downside. Detonate's nice, though, for just, like, insta-gibbing things and single battles. Or, like, the last mon in a battle. But actually, Disable we never really use. We can just give this thing detonate for the situations where we prefer to detonate. To be honest, though, are we ever going to... Yeah, 95 accuracy. I don't know. I feel like most cases where I just want to make sure I murder something, rolling for the 95 accuracy is kind of dodgy. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I don't remember what we did with our moth before. Our old moth. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. We'll put this on you for now. Why don't you take like an Unip for protection? And then let's skill flash the moth. Oh, but we kind of want to reroll the moth's ability probably. And up its potential. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to go back. We're going to go back to town. And uh, get this guy whipped into shape. Reset his stats and everything. So I guess we will put a ghost on the team. 
Maybe we'll get rid of the extra fire type. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, for now, though, let's check the skill flashes. And we'll see what its moveset's going to look like. I have no idea. I, I, I'm sure we probably had the drain set up on this before. And we're doing set up drain stuff. I just remember that it was good. And I remember that it sucked when it died, but also it died in the Great Purge when everybody died. So, like, I think it did. I think it died in the five, the near wipe, I think. So, it kind of uh, got lost in the shuffle. Hey, he learns whoosh. I don't see using whoosh on him, but, you know, he might as well have it. From when we assemble the move set. I don't remember if this thing got any other coverage. Yeah, it gets inner peace. I remember that. Or at least I thought I remembered it, that it got inner peace, and I am correct. Already has drain. Can't learn to kick things, I suppose. That's acceptable. No quicksand. No sumo stance. Ooh, Sandman? The moth can put people to sleep. Interesting. Good for catching. Good for setup. Although we've never had good luck with sleep. And I kind of stay away from it at this point. It's just been a waste in the past. If you get a one turn sleep, it's just detrimental because you wasted SP and achieved nothing, basically. Berserk sucks, scary vision, geyser. No recon. Time warp, I don't care. Alright, so at 54, Dan Forth set then looks probably like 170, 5095 special. Yeah, we want guaranteed hit stab for the epiphany or the inner piece setup. Okay, so frozen spikes, that's the not escape move, which isn't the best thing for like a, a move type here, but it's fine. Dealing damage, removing all weather conditions and entry hazards. Hmm. Pretty niche. I think I just prefer the 10 base power, to be honest. Give me drain. So yeah, I think we do. I, I don't think we care that much about wind blast. Wind blast is going to counter fire types, but fire types are going to body the uh, the ice moth. So I think we do drain, energy drain, and then uh, inner peace and the ice coverage move. And that's the set. So we can set up for sweeps and then recover HP with drain. And whenever we need to rest, we can actually energy drain instead of resting, which is really nice too. We don't lose tempo. And then we've got the stab move with decent face power. It's a solid set. I like it a lot more than, than the bear. I like it a lot more than this set. Yeah. Also, it's okay for fighting against other ice types. Because um, we do have non-ice moves to use. They're not very strong, but we can grind out a battle of drain. It's fine. Let's leave this place though and upgrade the moth. So I think, can we get out of here without going through grass? No, not quite. Um, I don't want to heal. I want to conserve items, so we'll do that. Uh, this way, this way, that way. It's also Cthulhu's like on the bubble of leveling. I might actually do a wild battle intentionally if we get to the exit. We did. Because we could get Cthulhu to 60 and then box him temporarily. Go with the one fire type. Keep Umaro to level, I guess, with Danforth. I don't know. Let's evaluate the moth and then decide. We'll get the level on Cthulhu here just so it's up, knocked out. Then I gotta decide if I want to push the next Titan today or not. 
Donate might actually not kill this. Also, this thing's 51 out here? Well, Glass Cannon, I would have died. Oh well. This still might kill it now, too. Because it is a badly special defense down. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. You're at 60, and now we'll box you temporarily. And we know to keep an eye on the floor of the dungeon for the symbol that tells us the Titan's coming up now. So we know when to go back and grab the Cthulhu out of the box for the, the Titan fight. Alright, so we can cut here until we get back to the stat resetter and stuff. Alright, we can get these stats reset before we go do the uh, potential increases. Mr. Moth, please reset. That's, yeah, that's a lot of points to move around. Do we see Danforth's potential? I don't remember if we actually potential scanned him. We didn't, did we? That seems like it might be a high total. Hold on, let's check that. I'm guessing 15. Eight. <laughs> okay, no. No, it's just because he's 54, he's got so many points to distribute. Okay, fair enough. Um, benefit a lot from the increase here, probably. So, what are we going to do on you? We're just going to do... this. We're just going to hit this button a bunch of times. We're just going to do this. Uh, for forever, basically. Yep, forever, actually. Yeah, because we got special defense increasing, but no bonus defense. So, yep, that's, uh, that's, that was an easy decision to make. Well, let's go increase his potential next. And then re-roll his ability, too. Oh, uh, can we figure out what ability we had before? Let's check that. That's good to know. I'm going to try and do this fast, scrolling through this list, but I'm likely to miss it. I feel like it was pretty deep in the list. No, that's the bird. Here it is. Glam off. Crippler, Caffeinated, Clean Retreat, Antarctic. So this probably sets ice actually really good on a... We saw that we saw that Blizzard increases your speed. So actually really good on a setup bomb like this to have ice up automatically. Although I suppose it only lasts for five turns. So it actually disappears before you finish setting up. You could put the item on it to extend the duration by three if it works that way. If you extend the duration out to, like, if the duration extend actually gets it to be eight turns, and I'm not even sure if it's five base, it might be four or something, then you could set up, like, three, four inner pieces and then sweep. That could work. Caffeinated, I think, is also pretty good. I think that's SP bonuses, which also help for sweeping. Crippler's what we have now. We don't know what Clean Retreat is. Crippler's no good here. Because we're not doing status stuff on this glam off. So it looks to me like we've got two viable abilities at least. So we should be able to find something good. I'm not like concerned about re-rolling for the perfect ability. Just something that seems nice and usable. So let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, I'm just going to cut straight to when we find the results here. Alright, let's find out what our new moth potential is. Drum roll, 8 to 16. I will take that. Yes, 12 additional points to distribute. Uh, we want to go defense 10 points higher than special defense, except we actually reached the cap. I don't know if this cap is by level or in general. I'm actually curious about that. We're exactly at it, so I guess if we remember that the moth is capped on defense bonuses, next time it levels up, we'll see if we can put more points into it, I guess. That was pretty, pretty solid. It's too bad we don't get the palette swap on it. That would have been neat to see what the... Did we have a shiny one before? Um, a, a potent one? I actually don't remember. Uh, we go to database. We go to moth is way down here. We can go potent. Let's see what potents we've had before. He was down here near the end. It might have been. It might have been one of our first.
Mm, doesn't seem like it. Oh, no, there it is. We've seen it because they used it against us, but we never had it. We just had standard. Yeah. Okay, so this one's at least on par with the one we had that died, if not better. That's pretty good. Uh, let's reroll its trait now. This is... Oop. Yes. That's only a thousand bucks. We might have to do this a couple times. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Let's open our loot box and see what we got. Antarctic. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's verify that that's what we think it is. Before we commit to that, I suppose. But yeah, it makes the snow upon entering a battle. Okay. So whenever we decide to do stuff with Danforth, Danforth can come in, set up snow, which has a chance to freeze the enemy and increases our speed. Helping us to enable a sweep. Speed 92 base is not bad either. So we get like a 50% bump to that speed. That's actually pretty fast. Yeah, that seems fine. That might even be great if it works out properly the way it seems like it might. That might actually be really good. Here's hoping. And we did pick up the Perlio, so we do have the bonus three turns. So I'm hopeful that that works out. I don't know where we're going to set that up yet. It's probably going to be our strat for the Water Titan at the end. But, um, but yeah. For here, for now, I think we just stick with what we got. We just give them the gem in the back to reach a little bit of XP until they get a little higher and, uh, we head back to the mountain and just continue our little quest. That'll be it, however, for this episode of Koromon. Next time, we'll continue into that cave and see how long it takes us to reach the next Titan. I don't expect we'll see it next episode. Maybe even not the one after that. Some of these dungeons have been pretty long, but here's hoping this is not one of the long ones. Let's go, please. All right, till next time.